What's going on, Peaceful Tribe? Thank y'all for clicking on this new Peaceful Ambition video. Guys, I really wanted to post something during um, the weekend, but if you guys don't know, it's been a crazy weekend for me and my family. Our AC went out, amongst an, a, a lot of other things. But I am here today, guys, and I have a new topic, new video, new everything. So make sure you guys go ahead and like this video, share it because you never know how it can help someone else, and also comment down below anything that you feel like you want to add to this video. So let's get into it. Okay, so guys, today we're gonna to be talking about victor or victim. And what do I mean by that? Okay, so victor, victorious, you are a victor, you're a winner. You think with a winner mindset, you know, you see the good in things, even when it's bad, that is a victor to me. And victim, a victim is someone that lives in their pity, lives in their emotions, you know, think negative, think that they can't do things or let things hold them back. So guys, we're going to go ahead and dig a little bit more deeper into the two, um, you know, just talking about how we can change our mind from a victim mindset to a victor mindset. So let's go. Okay, so question, how many of you all believe that you have a victor mentality? What do I mean by that? Like I mentioned before, victor means that, you know, you're a winner you're victorious. So with that being said, you know, you go into a situation, even if the situation seems difficult or it seems like maybe you're not going to come out on top, you still go into it with an open mind and a positive mind. You know, you're not going to say, well, you know, I tried this before and it didn't work, but I'm going to just try it again. So nonchalant. No, that is a victim mindset. Or how about, you know, um, People hurt me in the past, so now every time I meet someone or I'm around someone, I just don't trust them because they're gonna hurt me. No, that is a victim mindset. You need to have the mindset as, this may not have worked before, but it will work now. Or, you know, I'm a different creature every day. I say that all the time because, you know, when someone told me that, you wake up, you're a different creature every day. It really, like, it really resonated with me. It really stuck with me. So I really believe that when I wake up, I may look like the same tier. I may even think like the same tier, but I have the option to be a different type of tiara. That is a victorious mindset. That is a victor mindset. Knowing that where you are right now is not where you're going to stay unless you keep yourself there. You know, you have to remember the people that are around you also affect your mindset. So you can't hang with people that are victim, that have that victim mindset. You know, that see thing as a victor, victim. <laughs> this is so, it's like a tongue tie. You know, you really have to be the person that sees the positive because if not, you're going to keep that victim mindset and you're going to become the victim in every situation. You know, a lot of people go through life thinking that they're healed from situations and problems and they continue on with their life. But when it really gets down to the nitty gritty, they're victims. Like I said earlier, you know, someone hurt me. So every time someone comes new, new around me, I know that they're going to hurt me. You're already thinking about what could happen. And it's not in a positive way. It's in a negative way. So you're already having that victim mindset. I tried this and I can't do it, victim. No, you are a winner. You are an overachiever if that's the case. You can do it. If you don't believe it, it's not going to happen. So we really have to change our mindset. You know, that's where it all starts. The way that we think, the way that we carry ourselves. You know, if you carry yourself with your head down or someone gives you a compliment and you flip it back and say, well, you know, it's not that good or you water down the compliment or whatever the case is, guys, you're keeping that victim mindset. This world is too crazy to be giving life to things that are negative or just to be worrying about things that may happen or may not happen honestly guys we have to move on with life we have to move forward and at a fast pace because we don't know what's going to happen in this world in a couple of years a couple of months a couple of weeks honestly at least that's how i feel so with that being said you know we have to live life to the fullest and sometimes living life to the fullest is not about jumping out of a plane being crazy 
chugging alcohol and all that stuff. No, sometimes living life to the fullest is accomplishing the goals that you said that you have for yourself or, you know, act in a certain way that you want yourself to act. Get out of your shyness. Get out of your overthinking things. Get out of your self-esteem and bring those things up. This world is too short. Life is too short to be living the same old same every day or to be thinking the same old same every day. If you feel like you had that victim mindset and it's not working for you, change it. Small things, you know, just look in the mirror and say, I am beautiful. Today, I'm going to tell myself I am beautiful every time I feel like saying I'm not. Or, you know, I may not like how my hair looks because... I don't right now, but guess what? I'm still in front of the camera. I brushed it best of my capabilities and it is what it is. You know, the smallest things you have to appreciate, the smallest things you have to be happy with, especially when it comes to yourself because no one else in this world is gonna be you unless you have a twin and they're still not you. So you really have to appreciate you as an individual. And guys, never think that you're too old to change your mindset or to change your life. It doesn't matter. As long as you still have life in you, you're still breathing, you still can comprehend things, then you need to change. You need to go forth with what it is that you wanna do. And if you feel like you are too old, then maybe you need to look and look into yourself and see that you're carrying a victim mindset. You know, a lot of people that are victims, they don't even know that they have that mindset. But all they know is that, you know, when they do things, it doesn't work. People are so mean to them. Everywhere they go, they just don't get along with people. Or, you know, life is so hard for me. Guys, life is hard for everybody. But if you carry it around like a badge on your shirt or a, a, a banner on you, you know, carry it everywhere so people can see it, the negativity or the sadness that you carry from the past or what you think life is when it's really not, then you're gonna carry that victim mindset and people are gonna treat you as a victim. When you carry your badge and say, I am victorious, I am a winner, people are gonna treat you as such. It kind of goes with like, you know, self-confidence. If you have the self-confidence to know that you deserve more than what you have now, or to even deserve what you want in life, then you are gonna show people that I have the confidence and they're gonna give that confidence to you too. They're gonna believe in you too because they see that you believe in yourself. But when you walk around and think that life is just so hard, people are so terrible, and you know there's nothing that's gonna come out of anything that I'm doing right now, people are gonna see that too and they're gonna act accordingly. And then that's gonna spill into how people treat you and how you see yourself. You know, it's gonna just snowball into something that's even bigger than what you even want it to be. So guys, we really have to stop to think the way that we talk to ourselves, the way that we carry ourselves, and just the way that we go about things. Because the way that we go about things is the way that is who we are essentially. So we really have to say, you know what, I wanna be a better person. So it's not just the way that I dress, the things that I have, because all those things can be taken away in a second. And then what do you have? You have your personality, you have your self-esteem, you have your thoughts. So if you don't make those things strong, if you don't carry those things with you, as much as you carry designer stuff and material things, then you are nobody. And I'm saying that wholeheartedly, that's just how I feel. If you really feel like the material things that you have, even when it comes to money, are the things that make you, then you are a nobody. Because those things can be stripped away with a second. Life can change just like that. Just like you have, you may not have anything or you may, you know, you're working hard to get to what you have in life. Things can change like that. And then what? Then what you're gonna say, I have material things, but I also have myself. I also have a peace within myself. I know who I am. So when you have those material things, it doesn't go to your head. It doesn't change who you are. It keeps you grounded, if anything. I work for these things. So I'm not about to just be flashing it to everybody so they can try to take my stuff. Or, you know, I work for these things, so I appreciate them much more. I'm gonna take care of them rather than, you know, up. Oh, this is just how things are for me. And, you know, maybe you don't have a victim mindset when it comes to stuff like that, but you know, you still have to level yourself out. You still have to stay grounded in everything that you do. So we really want to pay attention to that. And not only with us having that mindset, like I mentioned earlier, the people around us affect us a lot. You guys ever heard birds of a feather flock together? So basically the people that you hang with are somewhat like you. 
So if you are around friends, best friends, or even family, and you sit back and really listen to them and watch them, and you see that they have a victim mindset, then maybe you need to also be that fly on the wall when you're in the room by yourself or when you're alone and see if you also carry that victim mindset. Sometimes it's easy to see other people rather than seeing yourself. And I do this, guys, seriously. I stand in front of the mirror when I do have the time to really stand in front of the mirror or maybe when I'm in the shower. But I like doing it when I can actually see myself face to face and say, Tiara, today, like maybe at the end of the day, Tiara, today, you know, you second guessed yourself. Today, you, you know, you didn't um, speak up when you wanted to or today you act this way. I tell myself the faults that I have or the flaws that I did that I recognize that I want to change. And with those things, after I say those things, I say, so tomorrow I'm going to learn to speak up. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to try to read something that can help me learn. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to do something that can better me in some type of way that is victorious. That is me wanting to win. That's me wanting to be a better person within. And I know within is gonna show without. It's gonna show on the outside. <laughs> so, you know, we really have to just be really, really, really cautious of the things that we put in our body, the people that we're around, the things that we tell ourselves, the things that we watch and that we listen to, because all those things embody and it becomes who we are. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm trying to up my life in every aspect because I have three children that are looking up to me. And I feel like if I find myself digging myself in a hole that I can't get myself out of, it's basically going to be like a generational curse. Basically, it's going to go to my children. It's going to go to their children. And even if it's not finances, even if it's not material things, me having a high self-esteem or me being able to talk up myself, it shows my daughters, it shows my son how they can treat themselves. So that generational curse that they may have of, you know, being the way that I that I am, if I keep that victim mindset, it's going to continue on. So, you know, we really have to change that because what we do doesn't only affect us. It, it affects generations. It affects people around us that we don't even know who is watching us. So, guys, you know, I always try to keep it short and sweet. Um, tomorrow is Tuesday. So, y'all know that means tea time with tea me miss peaceful ambition so make sure you guys tune in tomorrow um around 12 30 12 to 12 30 i'm not sure what time but it will be in that window so make sure you guys go ahead and check me out we will be talking about what i don't know yet but there will be a topic and it will be live so guys make sure you guys go ahead and share this video comment down below like i always said make sure you go ahead and follow me miss peaceful ambition instagram facebook and youtube and also visit peacefulpurses.com for any merch. And like I always tell you guys, things are happening um, with Peaceful Ambition. Just give me time and you guys will see everything that I'm talking about. Also follow my husband, Mr. Dancehall Critics, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. <laughs> I had to think for a second. Also my baby Akira's View, you already know youtube only and follow our friends the amazing johnsons they are just starting out with their family channel and they're pretty much amazing so go ahead and check them out guys i love y'all like always thank y'all for the constant support and love till next time guys peace out